Hey YouTube, uh, this here's just a couple of my American uh, 30-06 bandoliers. This one here was made in 1942 if I recall correctly. Let me just flop it over here. There's the, uh, I don't know, this is a GI number or something, maybe a serial number. That's probably a serial number. G3603. And the date is right here. 1942, yeah. So made a year after my M1 rifle was made. These here are a couple of uh, Cold War era ones. This is the front of them. I got a couple clips in there. Cal 30 Ball M2, 8 round clips. Uh, LC, I guess that means lot code. Uh, 42749. Here's the back of the uh, second one that I have. This is there, February 1955. Sorry about all the fur, my dog uh, sheds like crazy. Here's the Har Harrium Company. Four two seven four nine. So it's the same uh, lot code. I was looking at all these X's. Perhaps uh, they've been reissued, or I don't know. This one here is clearly made of a tougher kind of fabric. Probably made of hemp. During World War II, the Americans uh, started using hemp. Oh, there's a busted tab going on, unfortunately. Hey, hook it around the waist. This here a bit locks into that there a bit. And there's all kinds of little uh, uh, steel enforced holes at the bottom of them, which I think can be basically used as like a utility belt. You can, like, there's, uh, I think there's like water bottles and different kind of things that are made to hook onto these here belts. Is there a name on here or something? out of that and it's really worn. So uh, this here holds five ten clips, that's 80 rounds. This one here holds six each, so that's um, 48 rounds a piece. So that's what, 120 rounds? 130 rounds or so? <laughs> that much 30 out of 6, that would definitely weigh you down quite a bit. It's not a light cartridge. And of course, you got to have your attack dogs as well. Those were uh, instrumental in World War II. <laughs> oh, have a good one.